Hey guys, Jim here with another video for you. I figured with the Oscars coming up, I would do a video for the collection of the best picture winners that I have on Blu-ray. Uh, I do own several other best picture winners on DVD, but uh, as usual, I'm just including the ones that I have on Blu-ray. And at the end of the video, I'm going to throw in a couple titles that are nominated this year for Best Picture. And I figured after the Oscars, I will do another video ranking these titles as far as number one to, at this point, 22. And see which ones I feel are the best. I do have to put one more uh, caveat in here. There is one more Best Picture winner uh, that I do not have. It will be coming in the mail in the next couple of days, and that is the best picture from 2009, Catherine Bigelow's The Hurt Locker. So that one will be included in the follow-up video. So here we go. I, instead of going in alphabetical order, I figured we would go in chronological order. And this video won't be the most aesthetically pleasing because you're going to be seeing a lot of just discs. And the reason why is because most of these, or at least half of these, come in this big box set. So, that's why. But here we go. I hope you enjoy. First title on my list is also the very first Best Picture winner. Wings from 1927. And I still have yet to see this. I have to watch this before the Oscars. But this was the very first Academy Award winning Best Picture. The only title from the 50s I own is The Bridge on the River Kwai with William Holden, Alec Guinness. This movie is so good. It's one of my all-time favorite war films, and it's just a masterpiece. David Lean directed this. He also directed Lawrence of Arabia, among others, but yeah, I love this movie. I only have one title from the 60s, and that is also part of that election er, collection. From 1964, My Fair Lady. The Bridge on the River Kwai was 1957, by the way. I, I forgot to mention that. Okay, we've got four titles from the 70s, starting with the first one from 1970, Patton. Starring George C. Scott and Carl Malden. Co-written by Francis Ford Coppola. Great movie. Great movie. From 1972. Speaking of Francis Ford Coppola. His masterpiece. The Godfather. I do own The Godfather Part 2, but that is on DVD. Eventually, I'm going to get the entire collection on Blu-ray. 1973's winner that year for Best Picture, The Sting, starring Paul Newman and Robert Redford, directed by George Roy Hill. Classic film, classic score, great movie. And my final title from the 70s, 1978's The Deer Hunter, directed by Michael Michi uh, I'm sorry, Michael Cimino, and starring Robert De Niro and Christopher Walken in Academy Award winning performances. Going into the 80s, from 1983, Terms of Endearment, starring Shirley MacLaine, Jack Nicholson, and Deborah Winger. From 1984, Amadeus, directed by Milos Forman, 
and starring Tom Hulse and best actor that year, F. Murray Abraham. Excellent movie. My final title from the 80s, Oliver Stone's Platoon. This won Best Picture in 1986. Now we're in, moving into the 90s. And the very first title from the 90s to win, Kevin Costner's Dances with Wolves. Best Picture winner for 1990. 1991's Best Picture winner, Jonathan Demme has directed The Silence of the Lambs. Starring Academy Award winning performances from Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. Nineteen ninety two's winning Best Picture winner winning Unforgiven, directed by Clint Eastwood and starring Clint Eastwood, Morgan Freeman, and in his Academy Award winning performance, Gene Hackman for Best Supporting Actor. Nineteen ninety four's Best Picture winner. Forrest Gump, directed by Robert Zemeckis and starring Tom Hanks in his Academy Award winning performance. 1996, we have The English Patient, starring Ray, Ray Fiennes and directed by Anthony Magella. 1997's Best Picture winner, James Cameron's Titanic, starring Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. In the final title from the 90s, 1999's American Beauty, directed by Sam Mendes, starring Kevin Spacey in his Academy Award winning role internet betting. Now we're going into the 2000s. 2000s Best Picture winner, Ridley Scott's Gladiator. Starring Russell Crowe in his Best Actor performance in Joaquin Phoenix. 2003's Best Picture was the Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Directed by Peter Jackson, who won Best Director for this movie. And you know who it stars. 2006. Martin Scorsese's The Departed. He won his first Best Director Oscar for this, as well as Best Picture, and this stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, and a host of others. 2007. Then we have 2007's No Country for Old Men. And 2019 is the final best picture that I own, Parasite. The first and only foreign language film to win best picture, as well as best director, Bong, John, Bong Joon Ho. Parasite's a great movie. And nominated for best picture this year, in a couple of weeks, we have Barbie and Oppenheimer, or 
Barbieheimer, as people called it during the summer when these two were released. My money is on Oppenheimer. I think that is going to win Best Picture this year. But who knows? So I will be doing a follow-up after the Oscars, recapping these films, but ranking them in how I feel about them as far as favorite, not necessarily best. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, a possible subscribe, and drop some comments. Let me know what your favorite Best Picture winner is. And we'll see you on the next one, guys.